Yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn the ISO show. If you don't know now, yet, no, man. Uh, we are back. Yo, like you said, man, it felt like we, I mean, took off a, I mean, uh, a while, but you know I mean, you know, we only uh pre-recorded some episodes because you know what I mean the bird gang did what they were supposed to do. Yeah, you know I mean, shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles, man, on their way to the Super Bowl, as we knew that they was going to do, handle business the way they was. Uh, you enjoy that game, bro? Yeah, man. Um, a win is a win, you know. A lot of people counted us out. They thought that we was going to lose that game. And, you know, we took care of business, man. Now we just got to take care of business for the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, everybody talking, oh, no, this one, you know, this one y'all run stop. Listen, I'm not scared of the Chiefs. You know what I mean? I ain't going to talk bad about the Chiefs. You know, the Chiefs did show, show us respect. True. You right. know what I mean? They don't talk down on us. We ain't going to talk down on them. But, you know, you know what I mean? We should win this one. You know I agree I mean? with you. Hopefully Facts. we do. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And, uh. Uh, shout out to the San Francisco fans that we got. You know what I'm saying? A couple of San Francisco fans was in Philly. They was, they commented on it and said, man, we tired of hearing that Meek Mill song, man. Like, y'all need to have another song. You know what we do? We got a, oops, there goes another quarterback. Yeah, we's knocking y'all asses out, out there. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to say it like this. I ain't one of them dudes that's going to be like, man, I, I'm sorry for how the game went down. We, we, just, we just wanted, listen. A win is a win in my book. You know what I'm saying? If Christian McCaffrey want to get back there, line up as a quarterback, we knock his ass out too, then we'll do that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Bird gang over here, baby. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's get into it. How we get into it? How was your week? How was your weekend? Your weeks, weekends, bro. How was that? Man, everything was great. Like I said, now we got that win. So that just made everything um much better. You know what I mean? I right. would like to appreciate, um, I mean, say um, thank you to all the women that, um, participated you know the q a and all that now i mean i just thought i'd step back and give y'all like and, and let some women answer some questions Different some of y'all just be asking us questions and i'll be like you should ask some women that question right you right, know what right. I'm saying? so hopefully y'all got something out of that some insight like i said thank you to all the women that participated in that yeah th thank you to them too you're right yeah i'm saying because uh they actually sent invites for us to go on their podcast they said that tell iso his ass better show up for when we invite you to ours. So I was like, listen, if the schedule permits it, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, he a busy man. If the schedule permits it, then we're going to make it do what it do. But um, without further ado, man, you know what it is, man. Go listen, ahead, bro. Um, <laughs> first of all, speaking on that, it'll be um $1,000. You know what I mean? My my time is valuable. You said you the prize. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm the prize. Did I say $1,000? I meant the bidding starts at $1,000. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You know oh, what I mean? Man. So, you know, anybody want me on the show? You know what I mean? That's a low ball figure, too. Listen, you know what I mean? I'll look out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all that the people that did the show, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I ain't gonna hurt y'all pockets too bad. Right. Low ball figure. <laughs> I'm playing. We appreciate you. You know what I mean? Man. Low ball figure. You know I mean? We'll, you know I mean? we'll make time for y'all. You know what I mean? I appreciate, yeah. yeah, I do appreciate y'all because like I was saying, man, I mean, people was asking these questions. I felt like they need to ask a woman and just have a woman's point of view. I feel so, you. so so I do appreciate y'all coming on, you know what I mean? And, and, and just giving y'all insight. And and, and, and and like I said, hopefully some people, some some people, especially some women, got I mean, got something from that. You know what I mean? So so yeah, so yeah, no doubt. You know what I mean, we we gonna look out. Y'all look out for us. We gonna look out for y'all. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah, you know, we didn't do a, a one year anniversary show, man. But you know what I'm saying, you know, we closed in on a year, y'all. I mean, we've been doing this thing a full year, man. Giving y'all damn near two episodes a week. Didn't start out like that. Then started giving y'all three episodes a week, man. I got to figure out some time to get back to the Throwback Thursdays, but uh. Um, I'm not sitting on my hands, you know what I'm saying? You know, the Insta, uh, social media is popping, man. But a year a year ago from the time that we started, man, when I, we were sitting in there in the restaurant parking lot and I was talking crazy, did you believe what I was saying? He was like, man, let me try this shit out. You know what I mean? Because my man's talking crazy right now. I'm like, bro, we could do it. And it's like this and like this. Did you believe the shit that I was saying? He was like, man, let me try this shit out and see what, where it goes. Um. My whole thing is it didn't hurt the it didn't hurt the trials. Like Absolutely. if it not I mean if it don't, if not, not I mean if it don't like it's going on where you get a few episodes, it sound cool to listen to yourself or recording on yourself. <laughs> right. or you're just gonna be done with it and just keep right on in life. Right. <laughs> but this thing just you know I mean it really just took off. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So so like I said, I mean once again, I like to thank y'all because 
yo, when I say that, I, I, I really mean it. It really like took off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, like, just like I keep saying, it's not like we got all this stuff. Just like, as y'all can see, we ain't, now we got all this stuff. We bought a whole bunch of equipment and yo, man, we, we dead set on being podcasters. No, we really was just like, we going to try it. And then we get a positive response. We'll just keep going. That's really how it's been. But it's like, it just, it's really just got out ahead of us. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So we do appreciate all the success we got. You know what I'm saying? You know, man, I just, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, damn, this is showing the numbers is going up. I think the first week we only got like maybe, what was like 30 something plays or something yeah, like yeah, that in a week. Like- so I was like, all right, we might do it. I might try it for, I'm at least give it a couple months. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it just, it just, man, just thank y'all. You know what I mean? Seriously, thank y'all because yeah. it's, you know I mean, it's crazy to see the amount of like, how many like plays we get and, 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 and people start to recognize you on social media and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I appreciate that, man. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, facts. Yeah, that's 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 why I, I put you in all these clips that I put out. You know what I mean, because I I saw him walk down the street safely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean? So I highlight ISO and everything that go on. You might see me in two clips a week. Everything else is ISO, ISO, Yo, I ISO. I noticed that. Like, <laughs> like listen, listen. I put myself in there just to let y'all know I'm still here. But other than that. It's the big bro all day. Like, yeah, I'm like, yo, like, yo this is like, so like, you know, I really did notice that though. Like, <laughs> yes, sir, bro. You know what I mean? Catch me outside. Is that ISO right there? I think, I think it is. Let me right. get to my car though. Like, yeah. like, like yo, pick yeah, it up. Man. Yeah, I mean, but yo, man, uh, definitely, we do appreciate everything. You know what I'm saying. Uh, everybody that listen, if you listen one time, yeah, you know I mean, if you told somebody, you know how we say, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, matter of fact, this will be the first full video that we're gonna put on YouTube, man. So, yeah. you been catching us on them shorts? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let me say that. Go ahead, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. When I see, I need y'all to subscribe to the YouTube. I don't know if I'm speaking another language or some shit. Yeah, tell them, yeah, because we... or something. Yeah, we got to get them numbers up because. Fast. We need subscribers on the YouTube. We need subscribers. Yeah, definitely. We need subscribers. Like I said, now I understand how the whole thing go on on the, with the internet and all that, where you're always going to have way more plays and subscribers. The majority of the people that listen to it is not going to be subscribed. True. That's just how it goes because everybody complains about the same thing. Now, I mean, all content creators complain about when they go get their numbers and all that. The majority of people that they get their plays from aren't subscribed. Right. They'll have like, They'll get like all them plays and they'll be like, well, 75% of the people that listen to it ain't even subscribed. Right, right. But you're getting a whole bunch of plays and that's kind of like how we're starting to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or like subscribers is like here, plays all the way up here somewhere. Right, right. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, we getting all these plays, but the subscribers ain't going up. Right. You know what I'm saying? How could a, a short get, okay, you're getting a thousand plays in a day, but I'm like, our subscribers ain't ain't going up. You know what right. I mean? So listen, we need subscribers. It ain't, you know what I mean? It ain't it ain't gonna hurt you to go set, to press subscribe. No, not at all. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to grow. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to grow. We getting all these plays. We appreciate that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's some people that ain't even getting that. But we also need subscribers. Now I mean you gotta feed that's what the algorithm feeds off subscribers. So Please go subscribe. Yeah, man, definitely, man. But you know what it is. Uh, go ahead, bro. It's just, I mean, do what you want to do, man. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I've been um seeing this the last few days. People going back and forth, have different opinions about this whole um passport brothers thing. So the whole passport, from 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 what I see, it's about men that um are traveling to other countries. And they're going specifically for, I guess, the go be with women. Mm. Now, now I don't, now I don't know. They go like someone saying they going over there to find. It's like they going to find their wife or, you know, um, a woman that be in like a long term relationship or a girlfriend or something like that. And you know, it's getting like mixed reviews about how pe- people feel about it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, some people were saying, well. You know, if you're a loser here, you'll be a loser there. Wow. And, you know, um, if like, 
They're just using you for your money. It's basically prostitution. They just using you, just using you for your money. Nobody, now I mean, the women really don't care about you. My whole thing is this. Now here we preach that, especially to young people, that the world is bigger than your, just your neighborhood. The world is bigger than the city that you're growing up in. You know what I mean? It, it, it's not. I mean, it's, it's it's a whole world out there. Thanks. So you do need to get out there and go see the world. You know what I mean? You do want to travel. He's been telling me travel since I was in my twenties. You know what I mean? I was running around OC just having a bunch of fun. And I didn't care because I was I was having the time of my life having fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I should have did more traveling in life. You know what I mean? Which, you know what I mean? Hopefully, before I'm going off this earth, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm gonna get to do. I mean, do some traveling. But my whole thing is this. Now, not to understand if you're saying that, telling a man that. Well, 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 let me say this to all the men out there that y'all feel like y'all not getting a fair shake or whatever, or y'all not having the luck y'all want with women here, or y'all not feel like y'all being accepted. Because let's be for real, especially when we're talking about black men. Now, I mean, it's very harder for a certain type of men. Know what I mean? Because certain type of men get looked over. Now, I mean, especially in our community, just like they call them, um, they call them educated lames. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Which I I really never understood that because in other cultures, like educated, being, being educated and intelligence is celebrated. And all culture is looked at as being like a bad thing or something. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, right. Looked at as being like something like like you born, like you all make it have to be some boring ass person because you you educated or you went to school or you went to college or something like that. That that automatically means that you ain't no fun of, of a man or you not no. I don't. No, I mean I don't even know how to describe it. You know what I'm saying they just they they like they like call call a man like that lame. You know what I mean I've been, not, not, I mean I've heard women say that, mm. but I'm like, okay, now that. You can't tell me every man that cares about make sure they do good in school or want to have a real job or something like that ain't like I don't know he ain't they ain't boyfriend or husband material so who is then right which that's a problem in our community whereas our our whole like our whole priorities is backwards facts you're right yo not now I mean yo talk to somebody. Men and women, but you know, I'm a man, so we're gonna talk about women. Yo, yo, now I mean, you ask a woman what type of man they looking for. And, and I have seen this on social media and went, and went back and forth went on social media about the first thing out their mouth is if they fun or not. First thing out their mouth is they clothes. What the hell that got to do with anything if you're gonna be a good man or not? Right. And now I mean, it let me know that some people have made poor choices because that's what they go by. You know what I'm saying? Men too. You know what I mean? Men, men looking at a woman's body, and that's all that matters. Ain't nothing else to her that 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 makes that that makes you even, you shouldn't even be bothered with her. But you ain't care. She looks. She physically looked good. That mm. was it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then a lot of these guys. That not, I mean, that's why a lot of these guys is is is, is having the problems they having in life when they end up getting a woman like that pregnant, and they feel like they're going through hell. They taking me to child support. And you know, yo, trying trying to co-parent where it's crazy. Yeah, but she always been the type of person that she shouldn't have been bothered with. You just care, but she just physically was attractive. True. She just physically attractive. That's all that mattered to you. Right. Now, I mean, a lot of guys run into that problem. You know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, really, that's what it is. A lot of these guys that's crying about child support. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that people, now people ain't done wrong with child support because I know people that got horror stories, man. Good, good dudes. Mm -hmm. But also no dudes that, you know what I mean? In the back of my mind, I'm like, bro, she looked good and that's all you cared about. You mm -hmm. was complaining about it since the day you met her. Right. But you put up with it because she looked good. Right. Now you got to have a kid. Now, now, I mean, now you done had a child with a woman that is difficult as hell to try to co-parent with her. She was always, she was, she was difficult since day one. Right. But you overlooked all that because of how she looked. She, she was a 10. Right. Physically, she was a 10. So that, and that's all, and that's all you was looking at. Never mind the fact that she was a headache. You know what I'm saying? Y'all didn't agree on nothing. Y'all argued all the time. You put up with all that just because she looked good. No dick discipline. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? And then, and now you got you got women that complain about the same thing. I hear about women, you know what I mean? I hear women complaining about their man and you start talking to them about it. You know, I don't know, for some reason, everybody want to talk to me about it. Like, I, I don't, I have no idea. Like, I don't Ther know if I got written a therapist Ther on therapist my forehead. But I got like, a tattooed on my forehead that I'm a yeah. therapist or something. Yeah. But anyway. Tell me your problems. Yeah, and you start, you start asking them questions. They getting upset with, well, 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 okay, when you first met him, what was so great about him? Yeah, I don't know. And then, I don't know, I just seen him outside the club. Okay. You gave him your phone number because you thought he was attractive, right? You got attractive. Okay. Y'all get to talking, hanging out. He's fun, but you notice that, you know what I mean? Other than that, when we, we, we try to talk to him about, as, as time went on, as you want to talk to him about real life things, he really ain't got no answer for that. He really don't, he, he really ain't too concerned about real life priorities and all that. He's just a fun guy. He's just a party dude. Right. So you ended up having a kid with a person that you know don't really kept, don't don't really think about real life things as much as you do. But Facts. you knew that since you met him. Facts. But you want to hang out with him because he quote unquote matched the fly, which they they worry about how nice somebody dressed, black woman shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Worry about somebody, you know I mean, how somebody dressed, and they could have be empty headed as hell, but he got some nice clothes. He dressed nice. Mm. You know what I mean? So so you gonna give it up to him. So now you sitting here trying to co-parent with a guy who who don't who think that okay now your life has changed because y'all had a child it, his life don't change though he's still the party dude getting other chicks phone numbers none of his priorities changed right why should it you see what I'm saying because he was always like that so now you mad that you got a co-parent with a person exactly. that that your priorities his priorities didn't line up and he don't know he don't understand that life got to change for him right. It ain't changed. It stayed the same, right? See what I'm saying? So, 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 so it start with that. That um, and the hood is like I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't want to say. How can I say this? It's like, man, you in the trenches now, man. Keep digging. Yeah, I am in the trenches. I uh, mean, keep digging. I'm in the trenches because it's like you'll have you'll have women, right? And there and every and every. And every woman that like a quote unquote street dude, a short hood dude, or whatever, or picked a dude based based on just how he looked and all that, how he dressed, they not all also hood chicks. Some of these chicks, all our women, a lot of our women are like that. Right. It's women who are like educated, who never grew, grew up in the suburbs, and then they'll go be with a dude that's that's a drug dealer. Right. You ain't never, you ain't even grew up around that type of guy. Yeah, nine times out of ten is the female that did, that doesn't, because the female that grew up in that atmosphere, she don't want nothing to do with that type of shit, because she know the drama that come with it. The the little girl who dad was that, you know what I mean? The niece who uh, uncle was that, she probably don't even want that shit. She see all the drama that came with, you know what I mean, being in the lifestyle from her dad. So, you know, the people that don't know about, you know what I mean, what comes with when you do that type of shit, they the ones that's interested in that shit. Yeah, because um, because they all, because you ask different type of black women from any Different backgrounds, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or wherever, wherever they from the hood, suburbs, whatever, wherever they got a college education, wherever they just, maybe there's a high school dropout, they all kind of, they kind of describe the same exact man. Yeah. So now, if you're not that type of guy, you seem like you kind of get looked over. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you kind of get, so you might be, so you might be a very good guy, but you get looked over. So I, so I can understand how y'all feel like, well, I'm not going to sit around and try to beg nobody to give me a shot or right. give me a chance to go out with me. Right, right. Now, I'm, I'm going to go elsewhere. And I do understand that because life is short. We don't know how long any of us is going. Now, I mean, we, now, I mean, we one day, unfortunately, we all got to go one day. We don't know what day that is. Right. And you're going to spend the time that you got on there trying to, trying to convince somebody to give you a chance that don't say they're giving you a chance. You'll sit there True. and spend your whole life trying to be accepted by women that don't that don't seem like they don't want to have nothing to do with seem like they don't want to have nothing to do with y'all. True. So I understand if you feel like, well, why would I'm gonna sit here and keep spending my whole life trying to be with women who just seem like they ain't trying to give me the time of day. But the thing about it is that we both saying the same thing, but you don't understand mine. You telling me that you want a certain type of dude. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, all right, well, then I want a certain type of female. I go look for that. 
now I'm looked at as a martyr. I'm I'm vilified for doing that because I stepped away from my culture or uh, I, I'm a black man and I'm with a white woman. But you know what I mean? You had this cookie cutter image of what man you wanted to go get and you went to go get that. I'm wrong for having the same, you know what I mean, views. I, I wanted a certain type of woman. I wanted to go get that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, this shit is, it is. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, yeah, the whole, and then, okay, so now, I guess they they got they 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 coined the term passport brothers. The guys yeah. who do you know what I mean you see the you starting to see the videos and stuff like that of them being in different countries and all that. We you know being being around different type of women and like that, and 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 they seem to be enjoying their life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying seem to be because I don't know the truth. You know right, what I'm right, they, right. You know what I mean they could be over there having a terrible time of pretending like they they doing all right. Who knows? Yeah, social but, media shit. Right, but um, my thing is this. Now, I mean, if you wanted to, now you want to get out there and go see the world, get out there and go see the world. Yes, there's more women out there in the world than just the ones in America. Yes, that's true. You know what I mean? But you start to see people seem like they have an issue with people while people leaving and automatically saying that they lose it and they can't get a woman here. That don't mean that you can't get a woman here. Right. You know what I'm saying? That does not mean that you can't get a woman here. You may not, cannot, may not be able to get the woman that you want here. Facts. You can get women the, here. The woman that you want might not be here. Right. And the woman, yeah, they did. The, you know the what I'm saying? That may, maybe wife may not even be here. Yeah. She, I mean, she may be somewhere in another country. You right. might move and stay over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know I mean, I know people that came over on social media. I ain't seen in years and they ain't living in another country. Right. You know what I mean? That don't mean they was losers. They couldn't get women for one. And let me say this real quick. A lot of y'all who quick to call somebody else losers, Let's be for real. Y'all probably never really got no women anyway. Mm, now, I mean, y'all never got no women. Facts. You call other people, they're going because they're losers. Bro, you probably a fucking loser. Right. Know what I'm saying? You probably ain't even with the women you want to be with. <laughs> right, right, right. Yo, know, they going over there because they lose. They can't get women. A nigga who been getting sixes, who been hitting fucking sixes his whole life. Six is a good day for him. Right. Know what I'm saying? He married her. <laughs> and really... And really, yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah, you know I mean, she don't even want him. She settled for him. Right. Facts. 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 Now I'm saying, so, so, so you thinking you bagged this shit? She settled for you because she know your ass gonna get up and go pay bills. That's right. another thing. That's a whole. Now I mean, that's a whole another show. Yeah. Now I mean, because some of y'all is. Now I mean, some of y'all is the best of the rest. Right. Some of y'all thinking you. Now I'm saying you. 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 Now I mean, you worrying about the passport, brothers, when. You hear talking about what well, well, they over there, they over there paying prostitutes and all this and that. Man, you know what I mean, what you think your wife doing to you? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You now I mean your wife got you paying your whole life. Whole life. Paying your whole life. Because yeah. you stop stop being there to pay the bills to see if she stopped fucking you. Right. You see, you know what I mean? You think she's still she's still gonna be giving you some ass? Right. You think she's still gonna be giving up you and you can't provide? That's what you're there for. Oh, you think you there because you back there and she really care about you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. So some of y'all need to be so quiet. I mean, stop being so quick to just talk down on somebody else. Like you would like, like, I mean, like you some world beater, some lady killer over here. Because mm. most of the people saying that probably ain't never been with a 10 or even nine in their life. Facts. Facts. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we need to cut that shit out. Know what I'm saying? Because some of y'all be probably saying that ain't no dying wine type motherfuckers. Y'all probably ain't pulling the chicks y'all want in y'all life. Right. You probably never had a 10 in your life. You see what I'm saying? So, but, but not me, but the passport brothers, I do want to say, not me, not, me, not me, there's nothing wrong with going out there and seeing the world. And it's, uh, like I said, it's other, it's not me, it's women in these parts of the world, it's, it's women out there. But please don't go out there I mean, it's your. All right, let me start. Say, say, say this. People gonna do what they want to do. That's why the whole trigger argument. Now, I mean, we ain't even had a show about that. We'll have a show about that later. The whole thing of to to me, all right. It's your money. You can't tell a person how to spend their money. You can't right. tell a man to spend the money, especially a man that worked hard for. It. Right. Now, right. I mean that he worked for. It. I didn't work for the money that you got. You got not not. not I mean, you worked for. It. But please don't think you're going to find love if you're going over there to find. Now, if you like, man, listen, I'm in a, some dudes is older and some dudes is like, listen, 
I ain't never want to spend my whole lifetime in America. I want to go somewhere else to get more for my money. You know what I'm saying? As far as economically, because the dollar is worth more in other places and all that. You get a better house. You get a better quality of life or whatever. You get more for your money. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I know this chick is with me because I could, I'm an American and I could provide a little bit more for her. But I don't give a fuck. I'm getting what I want. Right. She ain't got 100% love me. I understand some older dudes to say that. Right. Because I didn't work with people that that's what they did. Yo, when I retire, I'm going to another country. I'm not staying here. Mm. And that's what they did. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, young bud, I ain't staying here. You know what I mean? I'm going to Panama. I'm going down to Dominican Republic. I'm going, and they went. Right. Now I mean, my, now I mean, blessings to him because how you going to tell that man how to live? He done worked his whole life. Okay. And if it is some trick and shit, that's, he done worked his whole life. Let that man get what he wants for right. the time that he here in life. Right. But he understands what it is. Yeah. I just don't want none, 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 I mean, none of y'all brothers, especially y'all young dudes, thinking y'all going to just go get a passport and run to another country and you just over there just spending your money thinking you finding love. That won't, I mean, thinking you will automatically find love. Now, who knows? You might go find love. Right, 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 right. You might run into a woman that, you know what I mean? And y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all hit it off and really dating all that. Everything is not prostitution. Y'all, you know what I mean? Some of y'all dudes that's talking that shit about them going over there, it's saying like everybody everywhere is a prostitute the second you leave America. Right. You know what I'm saying? Every woman is not a prostitute. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I mean, every country in some third world country where everybody's just completely fucked up and there's a bunch of everybody, every pretty girl that's not to is a prostitute. No, that's not necessarily the case. Now, I mean, but I don't want the men to go over there and get fooled into thinking that when you do go over there, if that's what you're going to do, is trick. Don't fool yourself into thinking that that woman love you. Right. Understand that's what it is. Really, I want y'all going over there doing none of that. No way, for real, for real. Especially, men, so some of y'all that's trying to build and achieve your goals. Because you're nickel and dime your money away like that. Facts. You're nickel and dime your money away like that. Know what I mean? So, but like I said, a man that worked for his money, I can't tell a man how to spend his money that he, especially not his money that he worked for. Like I said, don't go over there. You're going over there thinking that you're going to pay for love. Now, I mean, now you can get time, you can get sex, you can get her to come cook and clean. That don't mean you're going to get, is coming, is coming, is being done with love. Right. So, now I'm saying, like I said, a person could go over there, a man could go over there and find the love of his life. A woman that really actually cares for him. And I'm not mad at y'all for feeling like, okay, let me, I mean, let me explore my options. The whole world is, the whole world is out there. You know what I mean? Black man, the whole, the world is yours, black man. The world is yours. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't, know, I mean, you don't have to sit here in the same place your whole life, the same neighborhood you was born. Cause that's what some of us do. Right. Live our whole life, don't leave a damn neighborhood. Live there, dotted. Right. So, so, so if y'all gonna be go go over there, man, be careful wherever you going. You know what I'm saying? Please be careful. Like I said, you know what I mean? It's and then, you know what I mean? We we you gotta be realistic. It's crime everywhere. Thanks. A person may see you as a mark, knowing you're not from here. Especially you go somewhere with a different language, you don't understand the language. Right, right, right. So please be careful when you go in these places. But ain't nothing wrong with going out seeing the world. But now I mean too, I'm not saying. Now I mean, and then you got the women that's upset with them. The men about going over. Now I mean, why? Now I mean, why are you going over there? Well, they going over there because for one, they got the right to go wherever they want. Black man, the world is yours. Go wherever the hell you want to go. You know what I'm saying? And two, don't nobody got to sit here, sit here and keep trying with you and you showing them that you don't want them. Mm. If those are the men that you don't want, what the hell you care for? Where they going? Mm. Those are the men that you didn't want, right? I can't have them. Nobody can have them. Now I'm saying, no, they the educated lanes, right? Yeah. No. If I can't have them, nobody can have them. See what I'm saying? My thing is, you know what I mean? Some of y'all saying that, y'all know what I mean? Y'all probably didn't want that type. Right. Now, I mean, you didn't want the dude that was, and this, this thing I don't want to be understanding. No, a, a, a chick will put you on hold. Right. You on hold till I'm done over here. I get, I get back with you. 
I was just fucking this nigga. I was gonna get right back. My thing is, my thing is, right? I talk to young. I'll be like having conversations with um younger women, right? And it'll be the it'll, it'll be a dude that I'm talking about teachers that went to school, went to college, and all that. Mm -hmm. It'll be a dude that I go to school with, but they they won't date the dude that go to school with them. They so why 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 wouldn't you date a person that's they got the same mindset as you? They try to go to school, whatever they trying to graduate for. If you in if you in a uh, school to be a doctor, but you don't want to date another dude that's in school to be a doctor too. No. Nah. Now I mean, you go date the dude. I'm in a class with these corny ass niggas. Right. I already know corny. how they are. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like I'm like yo. So 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 they also all of them corny. None of them <laughs> has no personality. No right. Nothing. Right. Right. None of them is physically attractive to you. Right. None of them brothers in that school. <laughs> right. No, nah, I like things that I like street niggas. Why would you like street niggas? You ain't you ain't I mean you ain't you ain't even from the hood. You from right. the damn suburb. Right. Do you ask them that? They ain't got no answer. Right, because that's what's been put in your goddamn head. You watching TV, you watching rap, you watching videos. Right. You on this internet. Right. You need a street nigga. You ain't even the shit from the street. You not even from the hood. Right. You from the damn suburb somewhere. You're a straight A student your whole life going to the best schools, and then you'll be around a whole bunch of brothers that's doing the same thing, but but they lame to you. They corny as shit. Oh, they corny. Cause yeah, he ain't selling drugs and walking around with a gun. He corny. Right. What's the fun in that? You know what I'm saying? What, now I mean, what's the fun of the? Not, not, not I mean, not the potential of getting killed right along with the person that you with. That I'm telling you, that element of danger. It's <laughs> fun of them. <laughs> I'm getting killed with the person I'm with. It's just thrilling to me. Yeah, right. You're right. You see right. yeah. what I'm saying? Yo, I don't be on. I mean. It's wild how some not, not many our people think. Man. And at the end of the day, some brothers that's in them schools with them, they fight for these women um attention. If you ain't paying me no attention, sweetie, I'm on to the next one. Know what right. I'm saying? For all you young brothers out there, man, these chicks ain't paying you no attention, man. Just keep it moving. Right. Because you know what then, I mean, years down the line, you look back and she three kids in trying to find where this nigga at that she didn't have these kids with. All right, damn, fucked up. Cause you know what I mean now my practice is, is booming. See, but that see, see, that's the thing. The, the 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 men like that. They 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 are like the foundation of the community. They the ones that's trying to keep it somewhat together. As much as we try to give you them, and these are the people that you need as building blocks. Now, I mean, those are the dudes. Now, I'm saying that 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 do good in life and reach back. True. Now, I'm I saying agree. those are the dudes that that reach back and help y'all raise other people, kids. Those are the people that's become the basketball coaches. The football coach. Right, right, right. That fucking drug dealer nigga you had a fucking kid with ain't about to be no football coach, no basketball coach. Right. He fucking did it in jail. Yeah. Before the boy turned, before your kid turned fucking 10, he did it, he fucking in jail. That's so that's because, a woman though, a woman to think that if I have a child with this nigga, he gonna change. You thinking that he gonna change is the mistake. He is who he is. Right. No, I got a pocket full of money. I'm out here. I'm I mean, I'm a, I'm a I'm out here making money, job Mercedes Benz. Now let me go get a goddamn job. Right. For fucking ten dollars an hour. Right. Cause that's what you got me for, right? You got me because I was this nigga. Know what I mean? Right. Not because I was that. You got me because I was this nigga, not that nigga. So now you want me to be that nigga? No, go find that nigga then. Right. He gonna keep doing what he's doing. Right. <laughs> know what I mean? So now, so now those those type of brothers. Like we said, the people that try to keep the community going or some 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 semblance of a community. Right. Those are people that go and give back to the hood. Now I mean, now I mean he's now a doctor and he come back and he help treat people that don't have no health insurance. Yeah, you know facts, what I'm saying? And all facts. that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then go volunteer his time because he might have played football when he was in school and all that. Right. Now let me go be a football coach, a basketball coach, trying to keep the younger generation, raise the young generation up. That half them, I mean, a lot of them, they fathers don't even have no fathers on your man any like. Right. Those are the, now I'm saying the coaches and all that. The guys, now I mean, when you go to the rec centers and all that, the big brother programs, that now, now I mean, the brothers that you see in there. Right. Them ain't the niggas that you was giving your fucking pussy up to. Nah. Niggas that you giving your pussy up to is dead in jail now. Yeah. That nigga, that nigga still in the same corner drinking a 40. 
You know what I mean? He old. Talk, talk, yeah, talking about I used to run this shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> back in 1995. Right. You think the niggas that's on that corner care about that shit? Right. Right. Got there before we fucking blow your head off, huh? <laughs> oh, right. For real. Talking about nigga. he used to run this shit back in the day. Yeah, you know I mean, you standing, I mean, you standing there drinking a fucking beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What it could have shit ass nigga. Right, nigga man, drinking back a fucking, in my time. Drinking a fucking can God of beer. Damn, you man. do that shit these days, oh yeah. Right, nigga, 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 still lost. We ain't gonna drop game on the youngest. Like, man, y'all need to get the fuck out of here. I was out here all day wasting my uh, time. Uh. You reminiscing some Al Bundy story ass shit. Right. Yeah, you know I man. Remember when I ran this whole jump, man? I remember. Listen, man. Listen, man. No, he know. He know. know what I mean, he yeah. was out there with me. Know what I mean, ask your pop about yeah. me. Yeah, ask your pop about me, man. I used to fucking willy. <laughs> I used to willy. Oh, fucking. I used to. I. I, I now nah, I, mean, I used to willy from the fucking from fucking the fucking where the fucking post I was at down Brochy, all the way to fucking Broad Nam. I used to fucking willy the fucking niggas. You niggas know me from popping them willies. You remember that when I was talking with you? Right. Yeah, ask your uncle about me. I used yeah. to rub with your uncle. Right. Know what I mean? Yo, I, I was known for having the motorcycles out here. He's standing the fuck out here. Can't eat when he's hungry. <laughs> fuck all that back in the day shit. Right. Right. Shit don't mean nothing now. You know what I mean? Don't mean nothing now. We came Memories. Up, we came up from the block. You know what I'm saying? I had the white Mercedes Benz. My man, he had the black one. Right. You can't even eat when you fucking hungry. Yeah. You ask some motherfuckers to buy yourself from the Chinese store because you hungry. Niggas gonna relive the best moments of their life. Yeah, but know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like 20, 30 years ago. You reliving 20, 30 years ago. Time done passed you by, nigga. Listen, man, but anyway, yeah. See, but see, when that's why some of y'all are getting the backlash y'all getting from the women because they they know. They know at the end of the day, in the long run, they need y'all. They mm -hmm. just don't, they don't want y'all, but they know they need y'all. Yeah. That's really what it is. You know what I mean? They need y'all to help raise their kids that they don't have, they're going to have somebody else. You a spare tire nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, spare tire nigga, man. When this one go flat, I'm going to come grab you. Right. Right. And she know that she, that she know that she going to go flat. Yeah. She knows going to go flat because, you know what I mean? Ain't no fucking drug dealers living happily ever after. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no street dudes living happy ever, ever, ever after. So she already know that. So a lot of them that's upset about y'all leaving, I mean, know y'all value. But yeah. because y'all not the life for the party, y'all priorities ain't the, we, we about having fun, buying clothes, all the fun shit first. Y'all, I mean, y'all handle business, get things. I mean, I mean, I mean, y'all priorities don't line up with theirs. Because your priorities is how they're supposed to be. Theirs is. The whole not, I mean, just like I say, they they laugh now, cry later. Right. A lot of them is crying now. The hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but to all, to all, to, but to all the young brothers, you know what I mean? And then I want to say this don't be too, not, not me, uh, I mean, the thing about the content these days, it's a whole lot of it. And what I hear a lot of young people saying is before y'all even get off the porch, you know what I mean? This ain't about y'all hating women. No. Because some of y'all be sounding, some of y'all young bros, when y'all get on here, y'all sound like, Y'all got y'all got hate in y'all heart towards women already, and y'all ain't really never dealt with no woman yet. Y'all just a lot of y'all is only 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. Nigga telling another nigga story. Y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all fresh off the porch, man. Yeah. You heard another nigga in your ear all day. You telling his story about why you don't like something. So the so so ain't about y'all, ain't about y'all hating women. Right. Now I mean, so now I mean, please don't do that. But it's about trying to make smart choices. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now I mean, because because how some of y'all sounding. That's like I said, y'all fresh off the porch, 18, 19. You no, know, I ain't dealing with them. I ain't dealing with them in the whole. I forgot what they call that shit. The men that walk away or whatever the hell they call it. Make Tower, sir. Is it Make Tower or fucking Make? I think, I think that's how they say it or whatever. That. And I, and I mean, a lot of y'all is too young, man. A lot of y'all got to get out there in the world, try to get what y'all want in the world and start dating and all that. You can't automatically just, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't want y'all to have no hate, no heart toward, towards no woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We do want y'all to be educated and informed so y'all can make better decisions in your life. Facts. You know what I mean? But as far as the whole passport brother thing, man, like I said, I'm not against y'all expanding y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all options, whatever y'all want in life. You know what I mean? Get out there and go see the world. Y'all want to stay in America? Y'all want to go wherever y'all want to go, take trips and all that? Listen, do that. 
one, be careful. And two, don't think you can buy somebody's love. Mm. Like I said, if y'all go out now, I mean, if you go out there and you decide that you're going to go out there and you're going to spend time in another country, like I said, you might meet a woman. You might meet a woman. You know what I'm saying? You might go out there and meet the love of your life. You might meet your wife somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? So don't let that, don't let a nigga say you, well, y'all can't get women here. Nigga, you probably can't get a woman here. Right. You sell, you've been selling your whole damn life. Right. You see what I'm saying? A lot of even talking that shit, they ain't lady killers, bro. Right. They 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 not. Keep it real, they not. Most of them not. But what I don't want y'all to do is go there thinking that y'all gonna go over there. You know what I mean? And not, not me think you're gonna be able to buy love. Mm. Not gonna go over there and be able to buy love, bro. You know what I'm saying? That woman's gonna be doing it for the money. She ain't gonna be doing it for the love. So if you go over there and you wanna, you know, not, not I mean, you date, you feel like things is better if you're over there. Now I mean, or the not, 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 not me, or the woman treat you better over there. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But don't be fooled and thinking that, okay, once you realize, okay, this chick think I got money, and that's what it is, you gotta be to cut that off. Don't don't think you want me to buy somebody's love. Facts. Please don't do that. You know what I mean? But I just love is the last thing a nigga go into a relationship looking for, though. It's the last thing a nigga go into a relationship looking for. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? And then and then some of these women in other places are raised in a more traditional way. Facts. That they do, that they 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 are quicker to do things for you, like cook, they clean, they just they just generally seem like they just more concerned about you. Now, now I mean they just show a whole level of like like nurturing. You know what I'm saying? Whereas over here, it's like we we we, we now we're going through this whole BS D- fucking different type of war. programming. Yeah, it is. Different type of programming. You know what I'm saying? Now I mean, now I mean, now I mean it is, especially where like I said, all this content that's out now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People taking it overboard, taking it the wrong way, and, and is applying it to their life when, like, nah, hell. You know I mean? A lot of it is BS. The, the thing the thing about it, though, like, I seen this shit. I saw a young brother, he was over, I uh, forget where he was at, but he had, like, a, um, I don't want to, I don't even want to mess up the nationality. He had another woman from another country, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, he he was alluding to what you were saying. Like, yeah, the woman over there is more modern day. I had to come over here to find me a traditional woman. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's cool. Why the fuck you got to tell us? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why is these videos out where you have to tell us? Like, if you feel as though I found Mrs. Wright, you know what I mean? Congratulations to you. It's like, it's almost to the point where you like, I want to let the woman know that that, that turned me down there that I found somebody over here. Mm -hmm. If you found somebody, bro, congratulations to you. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You don't need to let us know. Just be happy. Yeah, because that's feeding into the the program. Right. Just be you know fucking saying? happy, bro. Like, Live your life. Like I said, you ain't gotta feed. Nah, I mean, you ain't gotta feed into the programming, right? Now, I mean, now if you do want to make content for other men that you feel like is like, not, not I mean, maybe felt like how you feel like, well, man. Now, I mean, what can I do? I'm not, I'm not really getting the response I want from the women. You know what I'm saying? And 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 maybe I might go try to go somewhere else or just go somewhere else and live, period. You may be the type of person that you didn't want to spend your whole life living in America. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. might go somewhere and be surprised and be like, damn, life is not nice over here. Hell man. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, like I said, I know a lot of people that 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 um that were uh, older guys and guys that a lot of them was in the military when they was young, first out of high school and all that. So that means they they went around the world. So their whole plan was always to to, to not spend their whole life in America. They might came back after the military and worked and all that. And they was like, yo, as soon as I retire, this or that, if I can retire and work things out retire early, you know, I'm going. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I always like being such and such. Like I said, some of them, some, y'all always like Panama. One of them always like Panama. I think one of them always like the Dominican Republic. Yeah. And all that. Uh, I think some other went, went somewhere and uh, went to another place in Central America or something like that. A few of them. Now, I mean, I know a few of them that was in the military when they was younger. So, so, so the whole plan was to to go back. They would not I mean, and then when they got older or whatever, you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's nothing wrong with God there and see in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, and this, you know, is like I said, it's gonna be women out there in other different parts of the world. You know what I'm saying? So, if your whole thing is to expand your options, you know I mean, what's wrong with that? Like I said, to men, you know what I mean, for the black man, the world is yours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, you might go out there and find a woman here instead of sitting here being called educated lame your whole damn life. Right. And be like, yo, what the fuck is this about? Let me let me go try and see if there's other women over there. So I mean, like I said, the culture here is that I mean over here is not celebrated. You go to places, your accomplishments, 
and your, you know, your college degree and the fact that you up to be more mobile and positive and you're trying to build in life, that that somewhere that, that could be celebrated. Right. I mean, that don't necessarily, you know what I mean? Because people are so quick to try to, people just, I mean, it, it can seem like everybody that's going over is a loser and all these other women in every in, in every other country country that you go to, when I mean, you go somewhere to another country, is all be a prostitute. Right, right. No, right. it's not. That don't mean that that chick is a prostitute. That don't mean he a loser. Because I can go to another country. Do that mean I'm a loser? No, because I probably had I probably turned my woman down than a lot of these motherfuckers who saying that shit ever got. Flex. Yeah, man. Straight up. I just made humble. Thank you all the women that ever showed me love. Yeah, for real. But like right. I said, some of these motherfuckers probably, you know what I'm saying, been selling their whole life. But you're going to call somebody else a loser. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might look at your life and say, he's a fuck. Now, I mean, you a goddamn loser. Right. Now, I mean, you sitting here working yourself to death. Now, I mean, to pay bills. And that's what you getting in the bed laying down with? <laughs> Yo. You know what I mean? You laying down with? You's a fucking loser. Somebody may look at you and say, you's a fucking loser. <laughs> Chick, like, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, I feel you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, let's be it, I mean, listen. Like I said, to the past, I mean, to the past four brothers, I don't see nothing wrong with going, going, going out there and seeing the world. And like I said, different women in the world going, going out there. You know what I mean, do your thing. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Going out there, do your thing. My thing, be, I mean, be safe with it. Know your surroundings. You're in a different country. Especially if you some dude that you understand, they just talk a different language, you don't understand nothing about the language, who knows yeah. what happened to you, but I'm saying, but that don't mean, like I said, that don't mean that you a loser and she's a prostitute. People just all make thinking that every woman that's going to say something to you, walk down the street, smile at you as a prostitute. Right, right, right. Now, if that's what you're going over there for, <laughs> yeah. you know what it is, that's what you're going over there for. Right. Know what I mean? Cause, because like I said, people going to do it regardless. Know what I mean? We can sit here and say, Yo, man, don't do no tricking. Y'all need to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to stop it. Right. Now, I will say to y'all men that y'all need y'all money that's trying to build, do the things y'all trying to do in life. Y'all don't want to just be blowing your own anything. Just be blowing y'all money. Now, it makes you don't need the money to fund your dreams, you pay your bills while you're trying to go for what you want in life. So you don't want to just be spending money while you're just working and spending money. You don't even want them dudes that, now you get paid, your money don't even last the whole two weeks. Right. You see what I'm saying? Motherfucker, money already gone before you get it. Right. Now, I mean, it's people that be, I'm talking about flat broke. You're, you're like, not, 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 just like we say on here, as a man, you should never be flat broke. Agreed. Don't matter what, now not I'm saying, learn how to budget your money. Right. Now, I mean, you should never be flat broke. Like I not, not, like I told y'all, y'all do not need clothes, new clothes and sneakers. Every time y'all get paid, y'all men. Right. You do not need that. Every, you do not need clothes every time you get paid. As a man, you should not be buying clothes every single time you get paid. You don't need that shit. Right. You don't. You know what I mean? But anyway, the whole um, just 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 you know what I mean. You now I mean, I'm gonna say it like this. If you tricking, be safe with it. Fact. Cause that, cause me saying anything ain't gonna stop y'all from doing it if y'all want to. If people want to do it, facts. For the men that want to do that, like I said, it's like it's, it's all the dudes that they don't work their whole life and they don't give a fuck how nobody feel. It's they money, yeah. it's they life, and they gonna do what they like. Now I mean, they gonna do it the remainder of their life until they check out. I respect that. I understand, I understand them niggas though. Can you imagine though? You working all the goddamn time and you ain't getting no pussy. You spent your whole no. no. I mean, or, or, or like you spent your whole life. Working, you might have raised your kids, right? Raised, you know what I'm saying, or right. whatever. You know what I'm saying? You spent I, your whole life. Right not, not like, yeah. Listen, you know what I mean, I just spent my whole life taking care of other people. Right. right. While I work my little girl, make sure I raise my kids. You know what I'm saying? On all of that. I'm older. All right. I'm trying to go get some young bitches. Right. Right. I'm done. You know I'm done saying? to get it's my time right now. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean, this is me time so I check the fuck out. Especially right. Now, especially you, not, not I mean, you, not especially you don't work your whole life, and, and you still an able-bodied person. You still got your mind. You ain't never get sick the way you in the bed. I right. know people like that. People that work their whole life ain't even get a chance to enjoy their retirement. Mm, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. They was too sick. I know people that 
That dad could be the full time to retire. You ain't even lived to, you ain't even lived to retire. You don't work, spend your whole life working. You ain't even lived to retirement. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? So if you're an able bodied person and you're not, not I mean, like I said, that's more the older dude who, man, go on, now I mean, go on with your life. At least you know I mean, you know what it is. You know I mean, you know this chick is here walking around your house ass naked. Right. Now I mean, ass naked and cooking and cleaning for you. Now I'm saying and handling handling a business with that dick because you got money. Right. If you know what that, if you know that's what it is, go ahead, bro. I can't say I live your life. You know what I'm saying because because that's your life. Right. But to all y'all young brothers, don't go don't go to another now. You go to another country. Like I said, see other parts of the world. The world is bigger than your city you live in. The world is bigger than your neighborhood you grew up in. Don't think you going don't think you gonna buy love. Right. Please don't think you're gonna buy love. But if you want to go out there in the world and say, listen, I want to see everything the world has to offer, go ahead and do that. Right. Go do that. Know what I'm saying? Like I said, you might, know what I mean, everything is life, life's roll of the dice, like people say, man, life's like a dice game. Know what I'm saying? You got to roll the dice. You yeah, flex. You might go over there and find your wife. Know what I'm saying? You might say, damn, I don't even need to go back to America. Right. I can make my life over here. Right. I got a woman that, you know what I'm saying, care about me. You know what I'm saying? You might go over there and find your wife. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Please don't think you're going to go over there and, okay, you got to recognize that, okay, this woman's with me for money. This is basically prostitution. You know what I'm saying? Know the difference. You know what I mean, please recognize the difference and don't think you're just going to go over there. I'm going to go, I'm American. They're going to care about, no, because, you know what I'm saying? Some, not, not, some, some people, some women from other countries, they are prostitutes. Right. They are because that that's that that's how they that's that's how they gotta survive. What right. they gotta do is survive. Every place is not like that. Everybody is not flat broke and all that. Like I said, you go over there and find your wife. Now I mean I know people who who now I mean they 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 met their wife from another country. Now what I mean from somewhere else. Like like I said, like, like like I know a lot of people that went to the military and all that. They wife's from another country. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right from another country. Okay, so so now I mean, and then he brought that woman back with him. They could be happily married. Right. That mean he a loser. She was a prostitute. No. You know what I'm saying? So my whole thing is just that, man. Just you know what I'm saying. I said, man, the world is yours. I mean, go out there and do what you want in life. Cause damn if you damn if you don't. Like like I said out here, fuck these niggas, man. Right. Yo, you a loser. And you can't get no women over here. Well, neither can you, motherfucker. You just right. sitting on here pretending like you can. Yeah. Because you ain't fucking nothing that you want to fuck. Nigga selling. He's selling for scratch. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's what a lot of you motherfuckers doing. Yeah, you selling know for what scratch. You know what I mean? Woman, a woman probably never approached you a day in your life. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Some of these, you know what I mean? Some of these dudes out here is, is with women that they settle for them. Right. The woman settled for them. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? She, I mean, you ain't even the man that she want. Right. So, but then say, well, this dude a loser for going over here. You know what I'm saying? For going, not, not even for going over here and then being a woman over there. Yeah. He might find a love his life over there. Right. And like I said, as long as you can tell the difference between you actually dating and, and living over there, having a good experience over there, going over there, and the woman is just, it's just prostitution. Like I said, Please don't go thinking over there. Be able to spot that, okay, this woman is a prostitute. Yeah, She's thanks. here for money. Right. Know what I'm saying? Please be able to know the difference. That way you ain't over there playing yourself. First interaction, bitch else. talking about something, what's the play, cash at? Play, play, yeah, playing yourself. <laughs> yeah. Please don't go over there and do right. that. Right. Like I said, know what I mean? I mean, I'm mean, ending like that. Know what I mean? The world is yours. Damn if you do, damn if you don't. So live, know what I mean? Live your life. Right. Know what I mean? But to the young brothers, for one, I, I mean, all this what they call red pill content is out here, this and that. Don't ask me, don't automatically start hating women before you even get around women to start to date them. A lot of y'all young brothers, y'all, I mean, like I said, y'all just starting y'all journey in life. Now I mean, y'all fresh off the porch. Now I mean, but y'all too don't be going thinking, oh, I'm going to get my pass, fuck these chicks over here. I'm going to get my pass for it, just go over there. You ain't even got no experience with real, no 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 real experience with women yet anyway. Right. Now I mean, like I said, be smart about it. Now I'm saying, be a little as long as you're a little bit more informed, you know, so you can make better decisions. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about the past four brothers. I'm not one of the people that 
automatically think somebody's a loser because they go somewhere else and think that, okay, let me go over there somewhere else and see if I can get, see how the women over there treat me. The women might treat me better here or there, or just go out, you know what I mean? Just, you know what I mean? just go out and explore the world. Everybody don't want to be in the same fucking neighborhood they grew up in right. and all that and be sitting in the house. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't want to do that. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like I said, every woman, every woman in another country ain't automatically no prostitute. Right. So please stop thinking that. You know what I mean? Because some of y'all, some, not, 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 I mean, some of y'all went for prostitutes and you saying, well, y'all passport brothers. See, I know what it is because I was over there. No, you go over there looking for prostitutes, bro. This man may be over here living his life. He may be living his life. He may run into a chick that he wants to want to date. Right. That don't mean that she a prostitute just because that's what you was going over there for. Cool. That's what you went over there for. Right, right. Now what I mean, if that's what you want to do with your life and your money, cool. That's your life and your money. Like I said, can't tell you how to spend your money. I will give advice. Like I said, once again, I'm ending with this. Young brothers, don't be nickel and diamond your life, diamond your money away on any that that that's that's for anything. Don't be nickel and diamond y'all money away and spending y'all money because I read somewhere that a problem with the generation now is that they're having money trouble. But the money trouble they're coming from is from dating because now it's a bunch of pressure on them to do things that a person, a man that's older than them can do. Yeah, you may not be able to go mm, spend I got you. I got $300 you. Uh, on no dinner damn. at no five-star restaurant. $200 on no dinner. Damn. Your paycheck might be $800. Right. You fool to spend two hundred dollars on dinner. You in competition with an OG and shit. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You in competition with somebody. Not, not saying you, 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 you a dude in college. Right. You in competition because this chick wants you to be able to do the same thing a dude that's forty can do. He already established your shit in life. You Damn. know what I'm saying? Crazy. Now I mean, remember how? Remember um, what's the movie? Dead presidents. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Now yeah. when Cuddy pulled up on him. Right. You know what I'm saying? He just threw the money. He'll be here older, dude. Right. You know what I mean? He could do stuff he can. He older. You know what I'm saying? He pulled the money. Now he pulled right. the money. Oh, nah, go there. Hey, take this. Is you fucking me? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't in any young blood. Then snuck me. That lets you know. Man, you better keep your head up and eyes open. <laughs> because that's a part of life, though. That's part of life, too. Chicks messing with older dudes. Yeah, I mean, nah, yeah. I mean, damn, that's crazy. Look, old Jesus is competing with these young boys. No, it ain't they competing with the young boys, but a woman expects, a woman sees that because it's just, it's just whole social media internet thing. I feel you. It's the whole, a man need to spend this on me damn. and all that. Uh, you don't think these chicks that's young, is they sick, I mean, these little girls, these little young girls are seeing that, too? A man's supposed to spend this on you. Well, you and him is like 19. Right. You think he's supposed to just have the money to go to some five-star restaurant? <laughs> right. Damn. And know what I mean? And, and go spend two, three hours on some damn dinner? That's crazy. Know what I mean? Nigga going broke to take his broad out. Fuck out. Know what I mean? And that's why a lot of them is having is having money because because the pressure, like it's just like like you you supposed to have it. Y'all fresh off the porch. Right. You ain't got it yet. You know I got it, but you ain't got it. I gotta have it, and you ain't there. The fuck is that about? Right. So, wow. Yeah, you know what I mean. So that's how I feel about the passport brothers, man. Listen, be safe. You know, I mean, other places. You know, what I mean, don't make, don't let nobody make you feel bad for going other places. But at, at the same time, understand what it is. You know what I'm saying? Understand when you do. You know what I mean, interact with a woman over there. What it is. You know what I mean? If 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 she is a prostitute. And that's not what you're looking for. Be able to identify that and stop that. Right. Please don't go over there thinking you're going to be able to buy love. You're not going to be able to buy love. You don't want to buy love. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I don't know what I mean? I don't want to stop you from going somewhere and living your life. You ain't not, I mean, you got to sit here. No, I mean, you don't. No, I mean, you don't got to sit here. Some of these people sitting here is miserable telling you, why are you going over there? You're a loser. No, well, you're a loser. You ain't never been nowhere in your goddamn life. Right. You ain't never been with the type of woman you want to be with your damn self. Right. Know what I'm saying? Know what I mean, so so who's your point the finger at at that person? Right. Know what I mean, I'm just wondering like this. I'm, I mean, damn, damn, damn up. No, nah, that 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 last that last joint you hit me with kind of fuck. I had some shit I was going to say, but damn, that shit's crazy. Just to think that I'm glad we older, dog. 
Cause I ain't out here trying to compete like to make you think like I'm a 40 year old man and we gonna go to fucking Del Frisco's and shit like that. I'm taking you to Steak 48. Fuck all that. But um, before we go, one thing I wanted to say, dog, cause that shit is shit crazy. Like, well, I wanted to say that uh, for these females out here, man, like it's a circle of life. What you gotta realize is that uh, a man's habits are derived from your likes. So don't be the young girl that's into the drug dealers and then you become a grown ass woman talking about some why are these young boys doing this dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? You the reason why they do the shit that they do because they know females like that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of motherfucking brothers out here in the street right now that don't even have to be. We talked about this shit before. Don't have to be. Probably don't even want to be. But you know what I'm saying? In order for me to get the uh, type of woman I want or the attention that I want, this is what I'm going to do. I don't want to be known as a fucking a cornball. I want to be a lawyer, but if I do that, then she, I'm going to be a lame. You know what I mean? Bitches ain't going to like that. So the, the, the one thing a woman got to understand is that it, it's, it's weird because, you know what I'm saying, uh, a woman don't understand how much you control a man's behavior. You know what I'm saying? You'll do some shit like that, and you'll cause a whole generation of men to, to fucking flock towards that thing because they see so many women going towards that. And then now you get to the era where you feel like, you know what I mean, modern woman, we got to step up because the men ain't doing what they supposed to be doing. But if you were to put it, let the men do what they supposed to do, because at the end of the day, the world going to take care of the world. So if you stop doing certain shit and let men do what they supposed to do, then they would do it ultimately. You know what I mean? But uh, just, you know I mean, we always got to be conscious of, of what we're doing in, in, in life, man. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, we're going to end it like this, man. Um, thank y'all for listening. Right. Subscribe. 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 Right. Subscribe. 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 Listen, and subscribe. If you got this far in the episode, you know what I'm saying, then you would know that uh we are giving away free Neonce tickets. Not Beyonce, Neonce. Performing Yo, at the Met Theater. So let me don't, just stop. Don't 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 even say like that. <laughs> because they'll take that shit and run with it. No, I'm playing, man. For the females out there, they'll, man. They'll take that shit and run with it. She was you the one that got to answer all that goddamn shit on. Listen, listen, listen. I do not respond to none of that. <laughs> no, I'm playing around, man. We all, ain't all doing all that shit. And all that go to him. I'm playing around. We right. ain't doing that shit, man. But, right. Uh, <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't even say that. The price of them tickets was crap. Looking at the price of them Beyonce tickets. Nine thousand dollars, bro. Thousand dollars. We got to compete with the Super Bowl, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, yo? I understand it's Beyonce and everybody loves Beyonce and all of that. Ain't it a ain't it a, ain't it a recession out this bitch? Listen, she don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she went up calling. She she said like it's not. What the fuck that got to do with me? Y'all would see me. I gotta pay. She said it's a recession, but ain't the bitches getting their income tax checks? Right, right, <laughs> right. They'll find a way. No recession for her. Yo. Yo, over here. What you know a what, what, what a what a great way to I mean what a great marketing plan. You drop that shit right around income tax time and shit. You bitch yes. better go out there and get your rapid refunds. You hear me? Because if y'all want to come see me, you know what I'm saying? Shit, y'all worrying about them. Listen, man. Y'all no, no, I ain't gonna say I was about to say. I was about to say y'all I mean some of y'all probably gonna start selling pussy for them joints. They priority is right. Yeah, I may mean, won't even need to get into all that. Dog. Damn, I'm looking at them prices of them Jones is like eight. <laughs> You're working to check out for Beyonce tickets. <laughs> damn. Oh man. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I mean, man. All that did was show me, man, that we need to take our show on the road, bro. I mean, we don't even I'm, need that. Yeah, I mean. I mean, if it's, oh no, give me a couple. I, I, I'm, I'm charging Beyonce price to see me. You fucking crazy? Oh, that's right. I forgot you're you know the prize. I'm the prize. You know I'm, I'm the prize. Beyonce, the only person that's the prize. I'm the prize. Now, I mean, Yo. front front row, $10,000. Damn. Now, nah, I mean, Chuck Chuck's saying, I ain't worth it. <laughs> no, I want to know, okay, when she go, do she, who else going to tour with her? Because I'm like, I'm like, who, 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 who who's performing with her? Because oh, whatever, no. because whenever they go like, like the people out there, and I mean, y'all, y'all women, y'all Beyonce experts, I really don't know. When she be announcing the tour, and y'all go to the like the show, who else is on the tour? I don't ever see like no names or nobody else on the tour. If it's just her, she got somebody opening That's up. That's a for long her, time to be performing, ain't it? 
Yeah, because I'm like, if I'm paying that much money, you only going, how long this shit going to be an hour? Right. Don't, don't usually somebody else open up for you when you go on tour? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Now, I, mean, I mean, I ain't no expert on it. You know what I mean? Y'all probably hit us up and let us know, like, no, such and such is going to be on the tour, too, or such and such is opening up for or they open up and do something, and then it's only the person that opened up for them and her and the Beyonce, and that's it. Who knows, man? Now, now, I mean, y'all let us know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it is what but, it is. But um, don't, don't come to us for no goddamn tickets. That ain't happening, baby. Nah. We not no radio station. I don't even think a goddamn radio station nah. gives damn tickets the way they cost so goddamn much. Man, have you been hearing about motherfuckers giving away Beyonce tickets? No, no, no. Ain't I, don't, I, I don't think I ever heard that shit, though. It ain't Power 99 and shit. Like, like shit ain't back in the day. They don't do that shit nah, no more, man. dog. You the number ninth caller, baby. Yeah, like, we want, we want the tickets. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. they ain't gonna hit that head, baby. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, fucking hit up Ticketmaster and shit. No, nah, I say shit back in the day. You you want tickets to go to the fucking Sixers Sacramento Kings game? Fuck out of here with that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, but no, nah, Beyonce tickets? Nah, dog. Where is that shit even gonna be at? That shit probably gonna be down in the stadium. In Link? Outside? Or, or I don't or, think. Or, or the Wachovia joint? What? If, no, they said Wachovia. Uh, no, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Wells Fargo. I took that shit way back. <laughs> Damn, I said this shit way back. Yeah, um, that shit. Damn, she probably gonna pack that. Bitch no, out. yeah, no. I think, yeah, I think, I think it's gonna be the Wells Fargo. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I, I mean, I think it's coming to the Wells. Make Fargo. sure I stay off the streets on that day because the streets gonna be fucking crazy. Shit, <laughs> you a man? Well, 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 you a married man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, if you a single man, you won't be out there in them damn streets. There's yeah. gonna be women out there with damn near nothing on. Damn. See, I know how y'all come to. Look know at the mean? level. Look at the level of the celebrity, man. Fucking Jeezy was just in town a couple of fucking weeks ago. He's at the Met. <laughs> Be I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the Met is a pretty decent spot because for remember, because for a long time we didn't have like no, no like in between venues. We had a small, we had the small venues. See, now we got the Met. The Met is the in between venue. I got you. It ain't the stadium, but it ain't the whole. Remember, before all we have like the TLA. Right, 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 right. Like the Man Center. Right. You know what I'm saying? We had it was like usually a small or big. We have nothing in between. Yeah. Now the Met is like the in between venue. So before everybody just had to go to the TLA, and it never was enough. You know what I'm saying? And the place did not 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 mean not mean much much threat to the to, to the TLA. They had amazing shows on there. Now we got different places. I think we got. Don't don't we got the Fillmore joint too now? Yeah, yeah. We got that joint, so we got some bigger venues now well, instead of just over, having up like Uptown Theater. I'm putting that bitch back now up. I'm saying now because before we just had the small venue and the stadium. Right. So right. where so where else do you fit in at? Right. Now I mean where else do you fit in here? Unless you go, to the, you got to, unless you go to the other joint up in Temple. Yeah, the, that yeah, joint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think they want to let everybody in there. Fuck no. Temple ain't playing that. <laughs> now I mean, so, I mean, now I mean, so now you got a decent sized venue now right. to, to a, a decent middle sized venue with that. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. Yeah, man. But shout out. Yeah, listen, man. Uh, for the ladies going to the Yummy know I mean, Beyonce concert, man, hit us up, man. Let us know how your experience is and, and how you got them tickets, man. Damn. You know what I'm <laughs> Tell your story how, how, tickets, how you got them tickets. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's wow. <laughs> Hit, they about to hit, hit them streets. Yeah, listen. Them streets she, get that money, that money she up. She get them joints up like she was Dion. Said I hit that transfer portal, baby, and I got them dollars. <laughs> I mean, we about to hit them streets out there. <laughs> so, that, but, but, so I mean, he about, about to bring the goddamn uh, what they, what they, what the, man, what the fuck was the name of that shit back in the day, man? The back page back. <laughs> I gotta get the back page back up. <laughs> Damn, they got that. What was that? It was in the right, paper. What was that? Remember that shit? Like in the paper that was like nah, you I mean, get the jokes for free and shit. City paper. Yeah, the city paper. Yo, <laughs> you and that joint just thumbing through and shit. You and that, you you send out the text. You doing? You do in calls or out calls? <laughs> not that I, not that I know. I mean, let's, let's get up out of here, man. This is the Earn Night <laughs> Show. You don't know that, you know. We out of here, y'all. <laughs>